quite welcome. It's still Africa Sports on Live here on your World of Champions. And yes, a quick adjustment we've had in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the utmost honor of introducing to you one of my favorite sports administrators. Uh, we've been calling his name, calling his name. He's where he is. He's been sneezing. That's you. That's you. Not knowing we are the one calling his name. Finally, he has responded to the call, and I'm very excited about it. The president of the Nigerian Cricket Federation, Ui Akpata. A lovely evening to you, Ui. Welcome. Oh, thank you very much. It's been a long time. I don't know why you're avoiding me. No, really glad to be here. Don't worry. I, I, I thought we were I, best friends. I Ui. see you almost every Thursday. So thanks for the excellent <laughs> thing you're doing for sports generally. Mm. And. Um, Really glad that you support and promote cricket. <laughs> Excellent. Also, Sam Emeholu joins us, and uh, his sole responsibility is to make sure Uye made it here, and he did exactly that. A good evening to you, Sam. Welcome. I deserve a green card for that. I saw you. No, we don't do green cards here. Okay, no if you do any here, you chop yellow. <laughs> 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 uh, but in any case, right, well, exciting moments. Let's start off first uh, with uh, uh, I think no matter what we achieved at the just concluded African Games, is the fact that there was a debut sport. And Nigeria, as debutants in that particular sport, won that sport. It just gladdens my heart. I think it's probably one of my favorite gold medal out of the African Games. And we, I'm not in any way patronizing you here. I'm telling you how big of a deal it is. Our girls went ahead to win gold medals uh, in the cricket uh, tournament, uh, cricket game at the African Games. What does that mean for you? Because I feel that's like a benchmark for whatever it is that uh, the Nigerian Cricket Federation has been doing. Well, just slight correct. It's actually a bronze medal. Oh, but, bronze uh, medal. Bronze I beg your medal, pardon. But, uh, but bronze medal to me, that was just a crowning moment for me. In fact, I mean, those who were close to me saw that I actually saw uh, shed some tears mm. then. I mean, I've been involved in this game for administration for close to six years. But it just shows that when you are deliberate, mm. you are strategic, um, and you set about doing the right things, the outcome will be there. And that was just a crowning moment. Remember, we have a strategic objective to be one of the top three cricket playing nations in the world and we achieved that two years before by coming third I mean we only lost to South Africa and Zimbabwe beating Namibia in the process it was steady it was deliberate and we knew that the girls would do us good I mean just I mean five years ago we we're number 48 in the world with the girls we are now 26 wow yes and so it's just as I said um, and all those players 16 members of those squads started deliberately from under 17 levels mm. and then so nine of our players are actually under 19 wow. playing for the senior team so that's just one of those the final outcome of some of the things we've been doing as our, our various initiatives now exciting things to hear uh, sam with what is happening in cricket i was talking to uh, we just before we got into the studio to say before now, cricket, as far as we were concerned, was a leisure sport. You know, there was, there was no, you know, tag of professionalism around it. We're seeing that happening now, that you could literally take the sport as a professional. I, I don't know, I don't know, um, I think we're just trying to be conservative here. Cricket is one of the few sports that we have, most of the national team players that are play, placed on salary. And uh, not really because that's enough for them to, and it's, it's the Federation trying to show commitments towards their development and their training. I mean, it's, when we talk about, we can't say enough how, how much um, we've borrowed from um, developed um, sports generally and try to incorporate down here. It's difficult, but I think we, we are, we're getting somewhere. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, let's talk about uh, the... Nigeria Cricket Federation and the Association of Nigeria Women in Sports Cricket Championship. Five states are participating in it, even though we know it's in the southwest. Uh, is this the inaugural edition of it? Well, this is the cricket being part of the Ni 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 National Association of Women in Sports. Mm. So um, the president approached us and said for the first time they wanted cricket to be involved again because of what's been happening around. And I mean, we just piggybacked on it. Um, so it's a combination of what's uh, regional qualifiers, mm. Southwest regional qualifiers in association with Nawis. So what you're going to see happening this weekend is that event. Hopefully that will be the platform for future partnership sports. It's going to be, there's going to be five other state, five other zones that will have the zonal qualifiers where the top teams will now emerge and have the national finals in um, November. Mm. So it's that like we're moving, we've, 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 we have been actually quite deliberate. We've been doing a lot of development, but now it's high performance mm. with special focus on women. So you're going to see these people coming through 
the zonal qualifiers and the national qualifi national championships mm. for women taking place in November. Now, it's a great thing we're doing this with, with Nawis, and, I, and I, I like the fact that they want to inculcate crickets in it. Yes. Uh, but then I, I'm hearing you saying high performance, high performance. Do we have anything like a high performance center in this country uh, for, you know, for proper professional crickets? Oh, yes. I mean, in fact, one of the most exciting things we talk about are bronze medal winning feats. And there's a group of young individuals actually came in recently and donated a high performance indoor facility called wow. the Cricket Lab at TBS. Again, these are people who are identifying what we're doing. Mm. In a few months, a couple of months, uh, I mean, um, time, a few people are coming to do the same thing in the High Performance Center mm. in Benin. So Lagos and Abuja traditionally recognized as our high performance centers. Mm. But again, how well is it equipped and rest is something, it's a gradual process. So this year, as the Nigerian Cricket Federation, is, we, have a plan, we have plans to have high performance center in each of the geopolitical zones. It's been that identified and we're going to do it um, in terms of standards, indoor facilities, assigned coaches, equipment, and the rest of it. So it's just a gradual process, and everybody's seen what we are doing. Mm. As I said, ours is just being deliberate and finding out so some things that is actually sustainable. Mm. You can't go wrong when you are deliberate and you put sustainable processes in place. You know, I'm thinking now, like, maybe I would take this cricket thing as a sports now, now that it's actually a well set in place. And, yeah. you know, these are, these are how you can build any sport, Sam, uh, when you have structures, proper structures, you know, that is not tied to whoever is on top of it, but, you know, that is institutionalized, you know, so whoever comes in just knows you need to just take that blueprint and continue to build from there. Yeah, the, 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 let me just speak to cricket a bit more. Um, we have um, almost in almost all the states, uh, except for a few, uh, less than uh, six or seven of them, that we have high um, um, coaches that are signed to search and groom youngsters all over the country and it, they are paid from the federation mm -hmm. and things like that and we've seen that happen that well, well again we have this under 17 championship that under 15 championship that's sponsored by concentric social for the past four years mm -hmm. and that's, that's that's been the um nursery for our under 19 players especially most of the kids they're talking about now the uh Edo state cricket league last uh, about two or three weeks back was concluded and 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 the, and the winning team is from uniben i mean it just it, it just fly by she's just saying you know but there are kids that came from secondary school that got some sp sponsorship support to continue their education who picked up i mean the things are going like that and we have a lot of universities i mean high institutions these days i mean a, co a couple of them that, are, that can co produce a cricket team because of uh, things like this i, th I think we, we, we this are, that's the part we should follow and we should look at other sport to the line that cricket has gone all right well sam has actually jumped into my next question with <laughs> regards to uh, the edo state uh, cricket league um are we looking at this also in other leagues that happen uh, well other states are more or less having uh, a league of theirs or would there be like a unifying league where everybody comes together and, and you know or what is the plan actually okay first we have the, for years now i mean over a decade we've had the ccc league which is run in lagos so an attempt to decentralize that or make cricket generally acceptable was when when as chairman of Edo State Cricket Association, we had the Edo Cricket League, and this is the fifth edition. As mm. Sam said there, we were deliberate in terms of what we were doing. Um, we had a situation where three years it run in the under-17 team actually won that league. So it's a league primarily for the Edo State, but there, each team is allowed to bring four I don't want to use the frame foreign days, <laughs> but external, <laughs> external from. So that's what. Yeah. They, so there's a Portaco League, there's a Kaduna League, there's one Millennium League that took place in Kaduna. Wow. So that's just spread. That's again high performance. Everybody's playing across board. So we want to develop that. But more importantly, yes, you you first to hear this here because I've kept it close to our chest in the board. We want to have a Nigerian Super League, the way the IPL is. So mm -hmm. that's going to be really big and mm. um, hopefully that will come in next year um they, it's in the works really being developed so that's just going to be like the premier league itself mm. in the same mode as that we were not really sure what the border was going to be whether it was just to go to purely independent or we get the winners of the various regional leagues coming together mm. but clearly that's going to come through both for male and female mm. i'm excited I'm sure you don't even <laughs> understand how because I, I wanted to ask you yeah. what's next for the nigerian cricket federation what are you looking at and you know you and you just dropped this bomb boom breaking news right here <laughs> uh we are looking to have a league in itself nigerian cricket league and i think this would actually before now and I want to talk women football, club football. 
Nigeria was the Mecca. It was a place where every African nation know that if you want to play at the pinnacle of, of women football, club football, in the continent, you need to be in Nigeria. Yeah. I would like to say that with cricket. Yeah, certainly. I mean, for instance, I mean, we had um, the South-South Female League. That's the biggest in sub-Saharan Africa. That started three years ago, so the third edition was held this year. Mm. Um, so, like, 90% of the people who came out from that league, in fact, they had the competition just to keep prep up. They had that peak competition, and two weeks later, they came for the Nigerian Invitational. So, they, that momentum was already there, leading into the bronze medal in the Africa Games. I think, ultimately, it's just to, as, as um, Sam earlier, said earlier, we, you can actually take this deliberately, mm. um, chart a ca uh, career for yourself in the whole ecosystem of cricket. Whether you want to be a grounds person, curator, whether you want to be an umpire, um, whether you want to be um, in the media section. Um, and rest. So now we have, in the last four years, we have close to, then we have um, high performance um, coaches that deliberate for each state mm. that the NCF and the NCF payroll. So from um, what was like about 10 to 15 people employed across board mm. um, in the past. We have over 300 people different, doing different things. So it's a business. This is supposed to be a business. Mm. I mean, you get, we have partners coming through for us. Um, we, we are getting there. Mm. We are getting there. I know where we want to be, but, but it's a steady process. No, I understand <laughs> you. I remember when, you, I mean, you had just been elected president of the yeah. NCF and you were here with us talking yes. about plans ahead. And those are the things we're talking. They are scalable plans. We can say these are the things we can track since you became president. So, I mean, people say talk and do. Well, you know they talk, but he did do. So you <laughs> well, are do and do. No, but, say, no, no, but say, the, say the fact. I'm sure when I left, I said, ah, we top three in Africa. I should say, you should say, we you don't smoke something. No, no, we, don't, we didn't think that, you know. But you know what? Ultimately, we have to give you, I, we have to give you a benefit of the faith. Yeah, sure, That's what I like to say. Sure, 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 sure. Give him a benefit of it. Let's see what he needs to do. And I'm very excited that yeah. some of the administrators we've had here, uh, you, uh, Frank Obi for badminton, yeah. yeah. Sam Ocheho, handball, are doing exploits and we're excited about it. Yeah. We, all the best to you. Uh, I'm Thank sure the much. next time I bring you here now, Nigeria is at the Olympics uh, in cricket. Yes. Uh, World Cup uh, cricket, Nigeria is participating. Yeah. Those are the things I want to see. Those are the things I want to hear. And I'm very assured that under your leadership that would happen. Sam, a pleasure having you as always. Uh, thanks for coming through. Like I said,